Cars lined up with people waiting for answers about their power. Tina Perry says she went four hours without electricity. So the rest of the day hopefully we'll be getting ready to go to Longview and coming home sometime tonight to electricity. Some Upshur County businesses had to close for the day. The outages were widespread from Diana to North Longview and all the way into Liberty City. According to URECC employees, faulty wiring in a transmission line or an animal climbing into a transformer could have been the cause. Perry says it's hard to keep all the cold air inside when the power goes out. We haven't opened any doors, any windows. Been decent so far, but now it's 78. Longview Fire Marshal Johnny Zachary says in this heat, no power could spell disaster. Heat stroke, heat exhaustion, and dehydration could all be real problems. And we are concerned for the health and well-being of the young and the, and the elderly. You know, one thing you can do is make sure you stay hydrated. Also, we recommend that they find family member or friends that they can stay with while there is no electricity. If you can't stay anywhere else, he suggests another way to cool off. In most cases, electricity doesn't affect your home's water. The best places to immediately cool yourself is in, in the areas that have a, a lot of vascular flow, the neck, they're growing under the armpits. Um, those are some areas that you can put ice and cold water to help cool the body temperature. Perry says she is glad that the power outage is over. You know, I can't be mad at them for something that's, you know, some kind of fluke accident or whatever happened. In Gilmer, Kevin Boyce, CBS 19 News.